Hi, I'm Laura Rogers, Microsoft MVP, and today I'm going to talk about three different custom scenarios with permissions in SharePoint Online. The first scenario is going to be site level permissions, and then the next one is list and library level, and then the third will be item level permissions. So regarding site level permissions, here is a simple little graphic showing the site structure of, of the Contoso homepage. So I have the Contoso homepage at the top, and then I have two different subsites, which are accounting and human resources. And then within those sites, I'm going to have a few different libraries and lists. So in this webinar, I'm going to just be talking about those site level permissions. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to create sites and how in the site creation process, how that impacts the way you manage your permissions on your site. Here's the demonstration. All right, here's the Contoso homepage. I'm going to be creating two subsites here and show you how the permissions can be affected by how you create sites. I click Site Actions and choose New Site. On my Featured Items page, I'll just choose Team Site here and call it Accounting and the URL is called Accounting, and click Create. Now here's my new accounting site. Now by default, when I create a site in the way I just did, using the Featured Items screen um, on the new site page, that site is going to automatically inherit the permissions of its parent site. So I'll show you what that looks like. Go to Site Actions, Site Settings, and choose Site Permissions. And this is where I can see that it says this website inherits from its parent in yellow here. And you'll notice that none of the items here will have checkboxes next to them to be able, you can't edit them from here. All right, I'll go back up to the top level site here, Contoso Home. And the next site I'm going to create is Human Resources and I'll show you a different way to create a site. I'll click Site Actions and choose a new site. And instead of this Featured Items tab, I'm going to choose Browse All and then choose Team Site. Call it Human Resources. And the important part here is to choose More Options. All right, and here is the setting that I was referring to, Permissions. You can choose to use unique permissions, and let's see what happens. All right, now that I've chosen to use unique permissions, I get this screen for setting up the groups for this site. So I can say I've got visitors, members, and owners. So I can have a special group for each for the visitors, the members, and the owners of the human resource site. And by default, it will put me in the members and the owners group. I can click OK. These are groups that I can edit later also. All right, now the human resources has its own set of permissions, and the accounting site has inherited permissions. Now for accounting, I'm going to go back up to Contoso Home and go to my accounting site. For accounting, I can still set the permissions so that it's got its own permissions. I don't, if I choose to inherit permissions when I first create the site, I'm not stuck with that. So I can go to Site Actions, Site Settings, Site Permissions, and then choose Stop Inheriting Permissions. The important, another big difference to notice here is that you'll notice that when I created the, when I created the human resources site, it created human resources visitors, members, and owners groups for me when I went through the permissions sort of little wizard at the beginning of creating the site. But this one, since I split off the permissions later, I do not automatically have accounting visitors, accounting members, and accounting owners at all. These groups that it shows are all just coming from the top level site. So I can click Create Group and manually create those three groups with, um, with those names that I'd like. One other nice little quick tip is that on your Site Actions menu, you have this Share Site button, which gives you an easy wizard to be able to add people to some of those groups and quickly give them access to your site. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next webinar, which will be about list and library level permissions.